Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year at Clarkson High School's 9th grade academy. I am Dr. Angel Rivers, assistant principal, serving as the 9th grade academy administrator. We look forward to an exciting year as we embark on the journey of challenging our students to be innovative and creative through every aspect of their education. We believe that ninth grade is a very important year as it is the time when students have the opportunity to set a firm foundation for a successful high school career. We want to help each student identify their interests and goals and to support them in obtaining required credits so that their progression to the 10th grade is proficient and as meaningful as possible. The ninth grade academy at Clarkson High School is committed to nurturing and developing students to believe that there are no limits to their success as they can excel to higher heights. Again, welcome to the 2020-2021 school year here at Clarkson High School. Greetings, Angoras. My name is Mrs. Dolores Ann Reeves. I am the Assistant Principal of Attendance and Testing at Clarkson High School. I am also proud to be the Administrator over the Senior Class of 2021. I trust that you are relaxed, recharged, and ready to start a brand new virtual school year. It is my belief that all students can become productive members of society when given the right tools for success. At Clarkston, we provide a community of learning that encourages our students to be knowledgeable and creative while embracing their diversity. We join with our stakeholders to support the achievement of our students by encouraging excellent standards and the belief that all students will be successful. Thank you and have a great school year. and I serve as Assistant Principal of Instruction at Clarkson High School. My responsibilities include serving as the Administrator, supervising the Exceptional Ed Department and the Math Department. I supervise instruction, maintain our master schedule, and facilitate the management of grades posted in the Teacher's Grade Book. I am so excited as we prepare to launch the 20. 2021 school year because we are getting ready to make history. You heard me. We're getting ready to make history. This is the first time in history that Clarkson High School will be launching our school year 100% virtually. We look forward to this experience as we support teaching and learning for all of our students. Just for a moment, I would like to share with you the modified schedule that students will be following when we launch our school starting Monday. Here at Clarkson High School, we follow a four by four block schedule. But due to our modified schedule, we will have a modified four by four block schedule. That means each child will have four different classes. As you can see on the screen, instruction will take place Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Our schedule is as follows, 7 to 45 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. We ask that students eat breakfast because you know breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then from 8.30 to 8.45 a.m. we'll be doing a technology check where students will be putting on their uh, material, their, their Chromebooks, logging in and making sure that they have access to the platform that their teachers will be presenting instruction. From 8.45 to 9 a.m., we'll be engaged in a school pride and announcement. From 9 a.m. to 9.40 a.m., we will engage in extended learning time. And then formally at 9.45 a.m., the first period of the day will begin. Again, parents, please note that instruction will begin during the first 30 minutes of each course. Period 1 formally begins at 9.45 a.m. and extends to 10.30 a.m. We'll do another technology check from 10.30 a.m. to 10.40 a.m. 
and then period two will begin from 9.40 a.m. to 11.25 a.m. We will have another pause at 11.25 to 11.35 and third period will probably begin at 11.35 to 12.20. One more break from 12.20 to 105 and then we'll begin fourth period which starts at 105 and ends at 150. Parents, please be advised, live synchronous instruction will take place for each teacher's class during the first 30 minutes of each class period. So it's very important that you're logged in and ready to receive this rich instruction that has been prepared for you. With all of the technology and tools that we have available to us, we welcome this opportunity to expedite the advancement of your child's academic success. If there's anything that I, my name is Mr. Ward, if there's anything that I can personally do to support you or your students' learning needs, do not hesitate to email me and I'll be more than happy to do everything that I can to make sure that your needs are met. And we're looking forward to a wonderful school year. Welcome to the Angora Nation. Will Clark. Next, we have the DeKalb County School District Grading Protocol. Here is the revised DCSD K-12 Grading Protocol tool. First, we have formative and diagnostic assessments, such as pre-assessments and post-assessments. Formative and diagnostic assessments determine where a student stands academically and informs the teacher the next steps to support the students. Formative assessments should not count toward their grade. Next, we have assessment tasks, which comprise of skills and homework that are worth 25% of their grade, classwork such as guided, independent, and group practice that are worth 45% of their grade, and finally, quizzes, tests, and projects that are worth 30% of their grade. The instructional access form will help teachers and students become organized for the 2020 through 2021 school year. Once you identify your virtual tools in your classroom, teachers will complete the access form and share with parents to help them prepare. Sharing the form ahead of time will allow students to practice using digital tools before the first day of school. Hello students, I'm going to show you how to find Microsoft Teams through the launch pad. So everyone knows right down here on the bottom of your Chromebook, you will see this rocket ship. The rocket ship will bring you to Clever. And here is where you can find everything you need for your classes. So today we're looking for Teams. I don't see Teams up here. So I'm going to scroll down and there it is. Okay, if you don't see it, you can also come up here in the corner and type in Teams. And that will give you the link for it. Now, what I'm going to do and what you should do, if you just put your mouse or put your finger over the app and click this heart button, then that's going to save it to the top. So now you don't have to look for it. So now I'm going to click into Teams and I'm going to go find my class. All right, so here is the main Teams page. Okay, a basic overview of Microsoft Teams 
is that this is going to show you all of your teams that you are a part of. So somebody has to add you to get teams. If you look on the left here, you can see different options. But I'm going to go into this test classroom. So now I'm in the classroom and I can see that my teacher is in a live session. So it says the time and I know she's in because I can see her name and I can see that the time has started. So she says, good morning class, please mute your mic and wait for directions. So all I have to do is click join. Okay, so right here as I log in, you see I have two choices. I have camera on or camera off and microphone on or microphone off. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute just like my teacher asked me to do. And now all I do is click join now. Okay, and here we are in our Teams room. So now if I wanna see who is here, I can click the little people here and I see that my teacher and myself, if I wanna go to the chat box, I'm gonna hit this button here and say, hello teacher. And if I did want to unmute myself, I would click here. And if I wanted to turn on my camera, I would click here. But that is your guide on how to get into Microsoft Teams through the Launchpad and how to find your live lesson. I'm going to show you how to find Verge in your Chromebook. So there are two ways to get to Verge. The first is you can go right into the launch pad, which is the rocket ship you see down here at the bottom of your screen. We also have a quick link right to Verge on the bottom of your Chromebook. So you can go ahead and just click right here to open up Verge as well. All you have to do is click log in and sometimes it will ask you to type in your student number and your password. When you do, just use your number. Do not type your email address. So for example, S919240. So you will likely have to log in several times. Okay, you can check to see maybe you're using someone else's Chromebook. Make sure that you're logged in to see your classes. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit courses right here. So now you can see all of my courses. If I, want, if I have more, or you don't see the ones that you need, you can go ahead and click All Courses. And that will bring you to this page. So, I'm in a lot of different courses, but I can also go click Home. But I think the easiest way is for you to go ahead and click Courses to get into a class. So I'm going to choose this one. Okay, and then your teacher will post. This could look different, but it could look very similar. And your teacher will make posts and put your resources right here. When you first sign into Classroom, there will be a plus sign in the upper right-hand corner of your window with the words, Join Your First Class. Click that plus sign to get started. When you click the plus sign, a dialog box will appear, and it will ask you to enter a code to join your first class. Your teacher should give you this code, and it will be 5 to 8 characters. It will be a mixture of letters and numbers, and it won't spell any word. Type in the code exactly as your teacher gives it to you. Once you're positive the code is correct, click Join. If it says that the code is not correct, Refresh your page and try the code again. Make sure you are typing it in exactly as it was given to you by your teacher. If it still doesn't work, let your teacher know. After clicking Join, you will be taken through a tour of Classroom. A dialog box that says, Welcome to Classroom will appear. Click Start Tour. The next box will explain how to navigate between classes. Read the box and click Next. The final dialog box will teach you about posting to the class stream. 
read the box, and click OK Got It. You're now in your first class on Google Classroom and you're ready to get started. The Career Tech Department consists of Business, Engineering, Family and Consumer Science, and Healthcare Sciences. We also have ROTC, Fine Arts, including Performing Arts, Orchestra, and Keyboarding. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Exceptional Education Department. My name is Jay Purnell, and I am the Department Chair for the 2021 school year. The mission of the Exceptional Education Department is to educate all students to become lifelong learners in a diverse society by implementing the gold standards of excellence with respect, responsibility, relationship, and results by providing the necessary support services to ensure success for all students with disabilities. Our vision statement, teamwork, makes the vision and the dream work. Within the Exceptional Education Department, we have many smaller, we're broken up into many different teams. We have the interrelated, which are our co-taught classrooms. Uh, in the interrelated setting, we have three co-teaching models that we focus on here. Station teaching. In this instructional model, students move from one station to another to work with each, with, with each teacher. Stations can also include independent work, peer tutoring, or teacher-made activities. Alternative teaching. In this instructional model, students work in smaller groups. Smaller group instruction is used to pre-teach a concept, to reteach a concept, to provide enrichment, or to conduct an authentic assessment. Parallel teaching. In this instructional model, teachers plan and teach the same exact lesson at the same time, but to two different groups of students. This is very helpful in reducing the teacher-student ratio for lessons to strengthen students' ability to access students' understanding. We also in the department have resource rooms and self-contained classrooms are provided for additional student support. Our self-contained setting includes the independent living department. These students may have impairments in oral language, reading, writing, and mathematics with functioning, which is significantly lower than age peers. In addition to academic areas, the students may have difficulties with organization, self-care, and social skills. Students with moderate intellectual disabilities require extensive support to assess a modified curriculum. And we also house the Regional Hearing Impaired Department for the district. During this department, we encourage students to participate in verbal communication, classroom learning experiences, to make sure their comprehension of the subject matter, development of social skills, and ability to communicate in situations encountered in daily living. The Angora team consists of the following staff members. We have 18 teachers, 7 interpreters, 12 paraprofessionals. We additionally have support from the district. We have a speech therapist, a school psychologist, and an occupational therapist. Welcome to Clarkson High School, and that is the Exceptional Education Department.
Hello parents and students. My name is Ms. Addison and I'm the math department chair here at Clarkson High School. The mission of our department is to educate students in the area of mathematics and to build a culture of lifelong learning. Our goals are to promote critical thinking skills, to promote practical problem solving in real world situations, and to promote perseverance in thinking and practice. We look forward to working with your student this year. Greetings, this is Mrs. Mears, head of the science department, and we would like to welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year. All we ask is that you come ready to give your best, ready to study, and ready to enjoy the wonderful world of science. We are the Clarkson Social Studies Department, where we're committed to helping students become creative and independent thinkers by guiding them in understanding and the analysis of important political, geographic, economic, legal, and social issues of our contemporary and historical world. Our goals are to increase literacy for all students in reading and writing, to increase content mastery in all core subjects, increase the number of students enrolled in advanced placement courses, increase the number of students passing the AP exam, with a four or five, and increase the number of students applying to post-secondary schools. Thank you. The World Language Department at Clarkson High School would like to welcome you to school year 2020-21. At the World Language Department, we believe that learning a foreign language is an enriching lifelong experience. It introduced the learner to a new culture and expanded their personal and professional horizon. I am a biliterate native Spanish speaker born and raised in Costa Rica. I am Professor Grant, and I am excited and willing and happy to teach you to teach you Spanish. These are the numbers are the members of the World Language Department. Monju Debe, Madame Bibins, Senorita Dabney, Senorita Kitiora, Senorita Brown. My philosophy is we must acquire the ability to understand and to be understood in the language of the worldwide neighborhood. These are the world language standard. Presentational communication, interpersonal communication, interpretive communication, cultural, connection, comparisons, and communities. Competence in more than one language and culture enable people to communicate and look beyond borders. 
All students can be successful language and culture learners, and they must have access to language and culture study. Language culture education is part of the core curriculum, and it is tied to program models that incorporate effective strategy, assessment, procedure, and technology. I know that this school year is unlike any other, but if by working together, we will defeat the odds. Have a wonderful and a blessed school year.